In this video, we'll look at um, controlling how many levels are displayed in a horizontal menu. If you want to see on a vertical menu, go look at the previous video. Um, and so when we talk about levels, let's just make sure we understand what we're talking about again. If, and so to understand this, we're going to look at our website map file that contains our map data. And so this, we, um, again, the way this is structured, you get one kind of parent. We call it the parent site map node and all the children have to go underneath him. So this would be our top level menu. It's going to say home and it's going to point to default.aspx. So this would be one level. The next level would be all his children. So that would be, again for this project, the internet, the database, and the multimedia links. These are children of this home. So these are the first level. Then the next level would be this guy's grandchildren or the children of the children. So how many of these levels do we want to display? And on a horizontal menu, let's look at this in design mode, we can control, do we want to see just home, or do we want to see the children, internet, database, multimedia, or do we also want to see the ch grandchildren on here? And the way we control this is on, we click on the menu and then go to its properties, and it's something called the static display level. And this static the reason we put that on here is uh, this means when the menu is not being dynamic, when we're not hovering over it, when someone's not clicking on it. So it's the way the menu appears most of the time when the user is not interacting with it. So we'll change this to three, and you notice all of a sudden, well, yeah, here's internet and jobs and database and jobs and multimedia and jobs and classes. All those we usually have pulled down are now showing up here. We change that static display level. If we change the static display level to two, this means display the main one and its children. So up here we see the main one and its children. If we change the static display level to one, that means only display that first level. So in this case for this, what we usually think for the horizontal ones is let's display the main menu and its children. And then the other thing that we could control here is also, do we even want to see the main one? There's times you might not want to see this home. In this case, it's okay. But if we don't want to see home, what we do is, rather than on the menu, setting that to zero, we set go to sitemap data source, and there's the show starting node. We can turn that off. And if we do that, we've got to be a little careful. So you notice we don't see home now. But my, my um, static display level is 2. So what I've said here is don't display that main level, but display two levels. So I see the children and the grandchildren. So if I only want to see, again, not the grandchildren on here, I'm going to set this back to 1. So you notice home has disappeared because we set that show starting node to false. But now I see the children, but not the grandchildren. When we run this, we'll still see the grandchildren if the user clicks clicks on the menu. So down here, we scroll over it. We see the ones that pull down here. So again, on a horizontal, they're pull down rather than pull right. Okay, so that is controlling the number of static levels that we see on a horizontal menu.